Mari, PG Department of Mathematics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now let us see probability of is business statistics. Introduction. In our daily life, we all make use of word probability. In simple terms, probability means the measurement of Dan, the, the chance factor. It helps in quanti quantifying uncertainty. For, in, for example, the probability it may, may rain today is, the, is half. That is, it may or may not rain. Thus, the happening of the event is not certain. The value of probability of any event between, lies between 0 and 1. That is, the in symbolically, we can represent us as P of A equal to number of favorable cases divided by total number of equally likely cases. That is equal to M by N. Definitions. Uh, now, let us see the form, uh, general definitions in probability. Uh, random experiment. An experiment is called a random experiment when it has several possible outcomes. Trial. Con con conducting a random experiment once is called a trial. Then event. One outcome itself may, may be an event. Favorable outcomes. Outcomes which entail the happening of an event are said to be the favorable outcome to the event. Next, we see the mutually exclusive events. Outcomes are said to be mutually exclusive if they cannot happen simultaneously in a single trial. Next one is equally likely events. Outcomes which have equal chances of happening are said to be equally likely outcomes. Exhaustive outcomes. Outcomes are said to be exhaustive when one, uh, no other outcomes is possible from the random experiment. Next, we see the addition theorem. Addition theorem is stated as if A and B are any two events of the sample space, yes, and are not disjoint, then P of A union B equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. And now, let us see the example for a uh, addition, example, example for addition theorem. A code is drawn at random from a well shuffled pack of cards. What is the probability that it is either a spade or a king? The probability of drawing a spade is 13 by 52 and the probability of drawing a king, uh, uh, king is 4 by 52. By applying the theorem we have, for, we have P of A plus P of B minus P of A B that is equal to 4 by 13. This is also an example, uh, another example for, uh, for, uh, for addition theorem. This is also an addition, uh, example for addition theorem. Now let us see the probability of happening at least one of an, uh, one, case, one, uh, one event in case of an independent event equal to one minus prob, um, probability of happening of a none of, e, none of the events. For example, a problem in statistics is given in three uh, given um, given to three students A, B, and C, whose chances are of solving it are one by two, one by three, and one by four. What is the probability that that the problem will be solved? Uh, now uh, here, P of A equal to one by two, P of B one by three, and P of B P of C equal to one by four. Calculating P of A bar equal to one by two. And P of B bar equal to 2 by 3 and P of C bar equal to 3 by 4. Uh, that is probability of probability that none of the solve equal to 1 by 4. Uh, then probability that the problem will be solved equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 that is equal to 3 by 4. Uh, the, uh, here uh, is the another example for uh, probability of uh, happening an event. Now let us see the conditional probability. Uh, conditional probability uh, is defined as if A and B are two independent events, then the conditional probability of A, B given A is defined to be P of B given A equal to P of A, B divided by P of A. Similarly, conditional probability of A given B is defined as P of A given B equal to P of A, B divided by P of B. Now, let us see the multiplication theorem. The multiplication theorem states that if A and B are two independent events, Events of one events, then the probability of their simultaneous occurrence occurrence is equal to the probability of one event multiplied by the 
conditional probability of the other that is p of a b equal to p of a into p of b given a or p of b into p of b uh, p of a given b